Last video of the night, science proves kids are bad for Earth. This is NBC. Think. Science proves kids are bad for Earth. More morality suggests we stop having them. We need to stop pretending kids don't have environmental and ethical consequences. My God couldn't be more in our face. Yeah, it's about climate change. Climate change ethics. All right, I've got to read you this. Uh, this is the analogy the author of this article makes in terms of you thinking of having children. Okay, if I release a murderer from prison knowing full well that he intends to kill innocent people, then I bear some responsibility for those deaths even though the killer is also fully responsible. My having released him doesn't make him less responsible, but his doing it doesn't eliminate my responsibility either. Something similar is true, I think, when it comes to having children. Once my daughter is an, an autonomous agent, she will be responsible for her emissions. But that doesn't negate my responsibility. So if you buy this view of responsibility, you might eventually admit that having many children is wrong, or at least morally suspect for standard environmental reasons. Having a child imposes high emissions on the world, while the parents get the benefit. So like with any high-cost luxury, we should limit our indulgence. Well, I'm sure you could imagine what I'm thinking. Um, but New Jersey here to start a statewide gun buyback program. See, all of the agendas, regardless who is in the White House, all of the agendas continue on. headed by Governor Phil Murphy. It contains dangerous language. The state's attorney general would be obligated to hold at least three gun buybacks every year throughout the state. The bill's sponsor wants nine. And it's a Democratic governor, so he may very well press for more. There's nothing more important, says State Senator Linda Greenstein. Greenstein. Yeah, nothing more important. If guns are hanging around the street, they're going to fall into the wrong hands for sure. And we want to get as many of them off the street as we can. The agendas continue. Bush, Obama, Trump, Clinton, it doesn't matter. That's why you all need to work in your own communities to make sure that these agendas don't uh, continue to be implemented. And if you don't do that, you can sit back and wait for Trump to save the day. You can sit back and hope that Jesus is going to come soon. But sometimes hope is false. One really does need to reevaluate their beliefs.